Hello my soccer universe. I'm ready for the Serie A jersey review and I want to start it a little bit differently. I got a package from Classic Football Shirts. Classic Football Shirts is back on the menu and I want to take out one shirt in here and I will reveal the rest of that uh, of this package a little, a little bit later when it's more pertinent. Um, but there's one Serie A jersey in there that I actually want to use in the background of the Serie A Riva. It's not a new team, but it's a really nice shirt. Um, and also, I want to announce to the world that at least for me, classic football shirts, under certain conditions, is back on the menu again of and i'm very happy about that you know i made early this year this is my last order from classic football shirts where i was really dejected because i had to pay some uh some bucks because i didn't know exactly the regulations now um then i ordered in the summer an espanol shirt where i tried to figure out yes i had to pay exactly five bucks and now i made another and now i know the input regulations from great britain where um, if you order, you have to take the entire order, um, the value plus shipping. You have to pay then the kind of the processing fee of the delivery service, which do not take DHL because they charge crazy. I took the, I took the option with the postal service, which I know costs five bucks. And then you have to pay the five bucks. And as long as it's below the... Um, uh, the value we have to pay customs, which here is 150 euro, you pay only 20% value added tax, which includes whatever you pay for the shipment uh, uh, for, 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 for your items plus the shipping cost. And now here's now the fine tuning. Classic football shirts offers now uh, at least international uh, free shipping if you order for 100 pounds or above. So this order is 100 pounds or above. So free shipping on um, Black Friday. This is my Black Friday order on um, Black Friday, 20% uh, 20, 20 off. And now if you do the math, if you take 20% off and then add 20% on, that's not 100% you actually save a total of 4%. So I kind of knew that worst case scenario, I was hoping I will, I will only pay the five euros, but you know, if worst case scenario, I still get these shirts at slightly less than nominal value and if i get free shipping then it's actually still worth it uh ordering from classic football shirts the only thing i have to watch out for is do not get above the 150. so far so good so i chose my items unfortunately the one item that i wanted to select was just gone although i, I was literally on on black friday uh or on the thursday before i was literally waiting i had two shirts already very much on my list refreshing email and the page blah, blah blah when is it on it was on i ordered swiftly but still someone got a shirt from for me that anyway was the filler shirt so i chose another filler shirt and that's was a serie a shirt uh, the other ones are national teams but i have to complete the story so how much did i end up paying zero zilch the package came yesterday i had the money 32 euros I computed I will need to pay roughly I had it all prepared postman comes and delivers it to, to, to my wife and says yeah this is it Poo! I would have known that probably would have added on another shirt but hey do not get greedy okay let's open up this parcel and as I said I'll show you the one Serie A shirt because I want to keep it topical here uh, so I'm cutting this now open and I'll show you the shirt because it's actually a quite nice shirt, uh, especially since I could get it in a sponsorless version, which is to me uh, always. A, and I know uh, there are viewers then from Club Football Shirts who will not have a, a liking for that because he likes the sponsors, which I understand. But in this case, I think it's an improvement personally on the shirt because I get it very, very, um, how to say, pristine in many ways so very careful because i almost almost no accident happened i caught it very well on time meanwhile i'm, I'm a pro in opening this day. i could tear, tear it all open but since i wanna take it out one by one i um i wanna do it um you know slightly differently so let's first look at the goodies that we have uh i got angelos caristeas that's pretty cool 
<laughs> in the Greece un 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 uniform winning the Euros, so very happy with that. And yeah, I have a few of these as well uh, already, so let's take out, is there anything else in there? No, of course not. So the other two shirts I already saw, all is fine. And let's take out the Serie A shirt. The other two will get their separate unpacking video in time, as I said already. I'm wearing Inter. This is black and blue. Will it, will it be Inter? What do you think? Will it be Inter? Last time Inter wore those thin stripes. I let you. I don't actually know anymore. Oh, this is. It's. Oh, yeah. Oh, I really, really like that one. I really like that one already. This is this is gonna be a nice one. Yeah, uh, this is a shirt that I really liked already when it came came out, and I actually wanted to get it. So I'll show you the back, and you can already see it's not Inter. It's of course an At Atalanta home shirt, and I got it sponsor for uh, without sponsor. This is the 1920 when they actually were in the Champions League, and this is the European version without sponsors. Meaning uh, in the league, the crest was in the center stripe. And on the European version, it's properly on the left, which I really, really, really like. I ordered it, of course, it's a home shirt. I ordered it in 2XL. I have the home shirt, which I was wearing the review video, which is an L, which is really, really, really tight. This one will fit much better, I gotta say. I do love the color a whole lot here. And yeah, I mean, Homer always does a great job. What I really like about this one, and I know it's a little bit, uh, in a way, nonsensical, but... Um, if you look at the, it's vertically, uh, it has the vertical striping, but then the shadow effect is horizontal, which kind of uh, adds a little bit more balance to it. The crest is a uh, silicone that is very shiny now, and it's mainly because uh, the other one has just the goddess, and now I want to have one with the proper Atalanta uh, jersey, uh, with the proper Atalanta crest, so I like that. Um, and as I said, yeah, it's sponsorless. Uh, the sleeves, I really love the sleeve. Cause and, and another thing that I found really, really smart the way they did it. Um, it is always a little trouble for the sleeves of Stripe. And I really love the way they did the sleeves here because this is the 90 style. But what I find extra special is that on the shoulders, it just extends over. This is a very smart design uh, for getting, you kind of connecting the sleeve to the main body of the shirt and it's the exact same, same width um, and it's very inter interestingly done by just you know two per pieces of material uh, it's a really nice shirt I gotta say and yeah Homa uh, is continuing to go do a good job they are a brand that's getting better and better I gotta say and you know cannot complain about the color so Atalanta will be hanging now back on the wall. It's a very clean, very classic Atalanta and I'm very happy with that one. So, what do you think? What do you think about this jersey? Uh, of course it says the jersey always sweats uh, because Atalanta is for hard work and so there always needs to be a sweaty jersey. In any case, let me know what you thought about the jer uh, jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.